The Democratic presidential nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris, joined in the criticism of the Trump campaign for taking images last week of the former president's visit to Section 60 of the Arlington National Cemetery. Political activities in that section are strictly forbidden by federal law and Pentagon policies, and thus an altercation with a cemetery employee ensued. On Saturday, Harris addressed the issue in a message on X, formerly Twitter. Let me be clear, the former president disrespected sacred ground, all for the sake of a political stunt. Trump, the Republican presidential nominee, repeated his counter-argument Saturday that he was there at the invitation of relatives of soldiers who died in a terrorist attack during the 2021 U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. He said to me, I mean, I'm not surprised, I never even thought about it. Sir, would it be possible for you to have a picture with us on the, by the tombstone of my son? I said, absolutely. I wasn't doing it for, I don't need publicity, I get a lot of publicity. The Trump campaign released a statement and video clip Sunday by some Gold Star families backing his visit. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham was asked on ABC's This Week show whether he thinks the Trump campaign crossed the line. I'm all for looking at what happened, but you know what really is unfortunate? That these families had to go visit their, their fallen loved ones at Arlington due to incompetence by the Biden administration. Rise in terrorism, combine that with a broken border, another 9-11's coming our way. When it comes to securing the border, Harris's vision would prove the most effective, said Colorado Governor Jared Polis. He was asked to clarify if it would include building walls and how it compares to Trump's approach. The border wall that Donald Trump has proposed is a huge boondoggle and waste of taxpayer money. He effectively talked about a wall across the entire border rather than using barriers of different kinds effectively. Kamala Harris is for is securing it in the most cost-effective way possible. On the Labor Day holiday Monday, Vice President Harris will campaign in Michigan and Pennsylvania. On Tuesday, her campaign will launch the Fighting for Reproductive Freedom bus tour with a kickoff event in Palm Beach, Florida. The Trump Vance campaign will hold events Tuesday in Brasselton, Georgia and Mesa, Arizona. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.